Call of Duty reminded everybody that these even exist. So I guess the question is, do they work? Well, kind of. Let's talk about legality first. Americans are allowed to manufacture their own suppressors. Just know that you have to get permission from the Crown first. So the process is started by filling out a Form 1. Uh, you must have an approved Form 1 before the NFA firearm can even be made. And honestly, don't even have the materials to make it until you've gotten the form back approved. It's not worth it. Form 1 applications to make a suppressor cost $200 for the tax stamp. If you purchase from a company, you're going to have to fill out a Form 4 with a dealer in your state with the same $200 fee for the stamp, plus cost of purchase, plus dealer fees and a healthy wait time. Would you spend your money on an oil filter silencer? Sound off in the comments. I definitely want to hear about it. So mine is called an Econocan and it was purchased from Cadiz Gunworks. They've got several different thread pitches and calibers to choose from. It did take a bit as they submitted my Form 3, which is a dealer transfer, via paper and snail mail instead of the much faster e-forms. With e-forms, it takes a day, maybe a week, maybe two, but by paper, it took 45 days. The Econocan retails for $85. What you're paying for is an adapter and a standard oil filter. And that brings me to my biggest point of contention. The ATF says that both portions are serialized and that means that they both have to be marked. And when the oil filter wears out, which it will, you're gonna to have to send it back to the manufacturer to quickly just screw on a new serialized oil filter. And they charge $25 for that service. They then send it right back to you. No dealers are necessary in that transaction. Should be pretty quick. Oil filters contain a filter medium that's cellulose and a bunch of synthetic fibers like glass, polyester, and then they're soaked in resin. Uh, looks like some kind of paper. You've probably seen vacuum filters that are just like it got a bunch of pleats in it, which makes me think actually shooting this probably vaporizes some of that. And I don't know how healthy that is. They do support multiple calibers. They are, however, manufactured with a caliber engraved on them. I've used mine on 223, even a machine gun. Uh, today, we just tested them with 22 LR. Definitely something to note is that they warn if you shoot larger calibers out of this, uh, some of that filter material is gonna actually vaporize and pull back into your gas system and it can cause stoppages. So how long will these last? Great question, and I guess the answer is, 22 can last thousands of rounds, and they say on the AR-15s, they usually last three to 500 rounds. So with 22 LR, it's pretty quiet, definitely hearing safe. There was no issues there at all. So to compare it unscientifically, we brought along a Bowers Group, USS, and a Biddy. Both were extremely hearing safe, and honestly, on my 18-inch barrel, I've got to say the Biddy's my choice all day long. In fact, the Biddy and the USS seem quieter than the Econo can. I didn't expect that because volume is supposed to equal quiet, but these, these were definitely quieter to my ear all day long definitely want to mention shooting it with a magnified optic suck. The size of the filter obscures your view. I can't actually see the target, so I'm just shooting near the target. And you have to move from a solid cheek well to a not so solid chin well. It messed with the eye relief a bit as well. It was hard to get on target and take accurate shots. At some point we got sick of it and just dumped mags into the burn because why not? The Econocan is literally shot through the factory to create the hole that's in the end, and after some time, and even pretty much the first time, it can become quite ragged and sharp. Not a huge deal, just something to be aware of. So I'm gonna wrap this up. It's fun. I like Call of Duty. I ran around with the oil filter silencer. I even like the concept of it. The practical application leaves a bit to be desired, and that's really the fault of the government and all that great stuff. They're huge. They're tough to see around. You can't put it in a holster. You have to send it back for a new filter occasionally. It's super inconvenient. You still have lots of paperwork, fingerprints, the same $200 tax stamp, a long wait, lots of bureaucracy to go through. I say just buy a can. Fill out the forms, pay the tax, wait for something that's engineered, that's gonna last, and it's gonna do its job really well. It is cheap initially, but it is definitely a novelty and a conversation starter like, you know, the ATF is at the range. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, do all that stuff. We really want to hear what you think of these. Uh, why would you choose this over a regular silencer if you would? So as I always say, thanks for watching. In your words, with your actions, and with your guns, shoot straight. That's um, natural.